In the Sun Sao free fighting techniques favoured by Chen Pang Ling, you'll observe that he used Bai Bu, this toe out footwork from Ba Gua, quite a lot throughout the techniques. The, the ultimate use of, of Bai Bu is to move around and blend with an oncoming force so there's no actual collision of forces during fighting. Today's lesson I'd like to walk through mountain top boxing. Mountain top boxing or Feng Chuan was created by Chen Pang Ling. In my opinion it is a masterpiece of martial arts training. It is a blend of Xingyi, Tai Chi Chuan and Ba Gua, contained in a framework of Shaolin. In this book covered by Chen Yun Chao, Chen Pengling's eldest son, he covers series one and series two of Feng Chuan. Today we're going to work on number one. So firstly I'd like to demonstrate the beginning where you step forward and position the hands. This is repeated at the back, at the end of the form rather, where you step back and perform the same hand action. Now everything we do in martial arts can have a combat function and the commencement and the conclusion of the form is no exception. So if somebody was to try and, and grab you or punch you in the lower aspect of your body, parry down and striking just above the pubic bone in the position of spleen 10, uh, spleen 12 rather, one more time. Parry, step on the foot and strike down above the pelvis. Cloud hands. This cloud hands is quite an interesting movement and it's, the function of it can be quite different to the, to the Tai Chi uh, application. So the first movement, the first movement if somebody was to strike you or to try and push you, this is the parry. This is the parry. You step behind and you use this arm. This arm can be a, a, a joint lock to damage the joint. It can lift the arm and turn and strike the face. You can grab the hair and pull them down and strike with the wrist under the chin, like so. Or strike to the groin. I'll just demonstrate that one more time slowly. One, two, three, four, or four. No matter what weapon you study in your martial arts training, it's important to familiarize yourself with the signature function of the weapon. Your sword and the center move together. The flat of the sword is in line with the radial bone of your arm. Your eyes are watching the tip of the blade. 